Good morning again. We're back in the studio and I just finished a 30 by 70 canvas. If you haven't seen this video, you can check it out. I will put it in the description. And I was talking about doing a triptych and I really feel this uh, composition and this style and these colors together. So I'm gonna work on the second one for this video. And in the last one I used metallics, Van Dyke Brown and Phthalo Blue. And this time I'm gonna use Primary Blue instead of Phthalo Blue. Just a little bit different. Yeah, I really love this composition. So I'm gonna try to make one as beautiful. And let's see. Okay, I'm gonna start with the white base, like always. And I still get a lot of questions from people who think uh, my white base is mixed differently, but it's the same as all colors. So only acrylics and water. Okay, let's blow this out. It's leaving a lot of holes today. Why? We will fix that later. So the last time I started using the phthalo blue. So this time we start with this primary blue. Maybe too much, but then the bronze. And dyke brown. Gold. I'm not gonna use too much this time. Because I think in the last one was too much gold. And then copper and just a little bit of white. Okay, let's pour the white around this. Just a little bit so it can flow better. All right, torch the air bubbles out again. Now I'm going to blow the white over the colors. <laughs> this one is selling up like Crazy. Oof, it's so different than the other one. Let me see the composition here. I think this needs to go over the edges and this needs to go more this way.
It's so funny that this blue is reacting so differently than the phthalo blue. I don't think these will match together. <laughs> and let's wait. I need more white there. I love when it fades out. Soft. Also here, so soft. It's too uh, neat. Is it neat that it's here, it's small, here it's big, here it's small again, so maybe this needs to flow more that way. I think that will be nice. Am I gonna do that? I think I'm gonna do that. So make sure I've got enough paint here to flow. You know what's funny? In this one, the metallic with the blue and the Van Dyke brown turns a little bit of gray and in the other one it turns more green so that's very cool yeah this is too busy for the other one to go next to each other I think I think I'm gonna try to get this more to the corner I think I would love that more. let's see if there's enough painting Okay, no, I don't like that part, so I'm gonna take it off. Just go pour some white against it. And then Back to the original sort of state. That's good. But maybe I should check it from the other side to see. No, from where I'm standing is the composition. From this way. I really thought these two wouldn't go together, but now when I lay them next to each other, it is, it is perfect. So this one, the one I just made, must be the middle one because it's busy and more centered in the middle. And this one tends to go more to the left. So I think the piece that will go here needs to, the composition needs to go a bit more to the right. And then it's okay that this is a busy one because it will look clean or it looks clean because of the white negative space. And this one is very clean because then it's in harmony with each other. So I love this and also that this one is making a bit green, this one is making a bit grayish and so I'm gonna use winter blue for the other one and see what that will be making. I think also a bit of green. Yeah, I'm curious how this dries as well. Yeah, I'm very happy. I love it together. Let me know what you think guys and I'll see you next video.